Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm sharing five germaphobe health tips or five health tips from a germaphobe, how to stay healthy all year. And um, I do not consider myself to be a germaphobe, but I have been called one by people that I know. I decided to use the word germaphobe in the title just to bring context to what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, these are health tips that work all year. These are things that I do. And again, being considered a germaphobe by many that know me, um, I just wanted to share some of the things that I've done with my family with as um, personally to stay healthy. And because I know it's almost springtime, but flu season is still here. Um, in reality, we are still living in the flu season. Unfortunately, I can't wait for it to just die off and I'm looking forward to the spring. But these health tips do work for the entire year. These are things, again, that I do. Before I get into everything, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be doing two additional videos after this one. Um, one will be five germaphobe cleaning tips and the other will be five germaphobe food handling tips. So stick around for those. Um, and if you're not already, please do hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell so you will be notified of any videos in the future. So let me just jump right in. Um, the first thing that I do as well as my family, <laughs> as I've helped to advise them, um, particularly my children, um, is that we wash our hands every time we come home. So anytime we're out and we come home, we come right in and wash our hands. So that's before we open the refrigerator, before we start handling a whole bunch of things. When you're out, you're literally touching so many different things um, in the stores, money, doorknobs, just products on shelves. There's so many things that we come in contact with outside of our home. And then just like taking your shoes off at the door, I know a lot of people do that. We definitely do that. So I look at it the same way. When you wash your hands, you're kind of washing off all the grime and dirt and germs that you handled when you were on the outside and then you come home and everything is supposed to be nice and clean and then you're free to touch whatever you want and you're not worried about bringing outside germs into your home. And I really appreciate that actually the before and after school program that my two little ones go to, on the outside of their door, they have a sign that says, please have your child wash their hands when they enter the room. And I thought that was perfect too because a lot of people are bringing germs from their home to the building where all the other children are and then that's exposing them to even more germs. So I do love the fact that they ha have implemented that. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh, they're, um, a facility after my own heart and also during the winter in particular I don't think we really do this in the summer or spring or even early fall but um, my kids when they come home from school they also take off their clothes so anything they've worn to school gets taken off and immediately placed into the hamper and they'll change into either their pajamas or something that they just have not worn to school so that they're not tracking germs in on their clothing so the second thing is to clean your house after you have a gathering or group of people over. And this is something that I do all the time. If there's like a one or two people, I will wipe down the area that my guests have used. But if I have a party and there's lots of people all throughout the house, after they leave, I literally clean the house like a hundred times better than I did before they came. So I do a quick clean up, vacuum, wipe things down, um, make sure there's no dishes in the sink, make sure the floors don't have things on them and you know, make sure everything is clean and tidy before company comes. But when company leaves, the larger the group, the more the cleaning. But um, I go around and literally sanitize everything. I just think it's a good idea to clean your house a lot more thoroughly when people leave than when they came because even if someone's not feeling sick at the time of the party, sometimes they have the germ on them and it just hasn't hit them yet. Um, if you clean your house after they leave, you're ensuring that those germs are gone. And I know a lot of um, little germs can live on surfaces for up to 48 hours. And that to me is just not cool to know that everybody's gone, but their germs are just all over the place. The next day they're sick and that germ is left in your home. So, and in addition to that, people can be carriers of things and they might not actually feel the symptoms of an illness, but they could be carrying that illness on them. So I think it's a great idea is when company is gone, they take their germs with them and they're not left behind. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to sanitize your cell phone as often 
as you can think to do it or as um, very frequently so a lot of times we're touching different things and I know a lot of people handle their phones like all the time so one of the big things is to try to sanitize your phone so you might be like scrolling through something or looking through something and then you're eating and if you're handling things and touching everything that's when things get all contaminated so um, I like to clean my phone, take the case off, wipe it down with a sanitizing wipe like a Clorox or a Lysol and just wipe the whole thing down. Um, tip number four is that I carry my own pen. If I go to a doctor's office and I have to fill out one of their um, little questionnaires or information sheets, I take my own pen, I write with that instead of the one that they provide. In any situation where something needs to be filled out in a public place, maybe a bank or something like that, um, it's great to use your own pen, you're therefore you're not um, even coming in contact with those extra germs. Um, tip number five is just a general thing. So I do carry hand sanitizer, that's a given for me. But um, tip number five is just to not touch as much stuff as you possibly can avoid. So um, I just try not to touch things if I can help it. Um, if I have to open a door, I'll use my sleeve, I'll use my coat, I'll put my hand in my pocket and, and my coat or whatever and turn the knob, open the door or if I don't and if I have gloves on, thankfully in the winter that's one of the things I do appreciate about the winter is wearing gloves and not having to touch the carts at the grocery store or wherever and then I wash the gloves often and then I have another pair um, but if you do have to touch something another thing that I do is I open a door like if it has one of those handles I'll open it with my pinky because a pinky is like a finger that you're not likely to use to like rub your eye or scratch your nose or kind of get something out of your teeth because you can touch anything you want as long as you don't touch the certain surfaces of your face and that introduces the germs into your body so like any any opening your nose your ears your tear ducts of course your mouth if you avoid touching those areas germs can literally be covering your hands but if you don't introduce them to any of these parts of your face then they have no way of entering your body so um, I do try to avoid touching things if I can but if I can't um, I just don't touch my face so I'll use my elbow to press the buttons on elevators and along the lines of touching things one of the things that I realize that I do as a germaphobe is that when I'm working at the keyboard to my computer I will not type and eat like there have been occasions where I'll wipe down the keys but for the most part I do not wash it so when I'm eating like let's say I have lunch at my desk or I have a snack at my desk if I will always eat with my hands washed so I wash my hands number one I get my food and I will use my right hand to continue typing or using the mouse and my left hand will be then my eating hand so I will do all the eating I can with this hand and all the work with this hand and this hand will never touch the food and this hand will never touch the keyboard. So I'm just snacking away, eating, and I'm typing one-handed if I have to, and of course using my mouse. And once I'm completely done with my meal, then I will go back to the two-hand typing and touching all the different little things around my desk. So those are my five germaphobe health tips, how to stay healthy all year. For the most part, my family is rather healthy and I just thank the Lord for that for number one but these are just things that I've done and have introduced my family to that have kept us generally healthy throughout the year and I just wanted to share those so as I mentioned before be on the lookout for the two other videos the food handling and the cleaning tips from a germaphobe I say that very lightly if you agree with these things or if you think they're extreme either way let me know in the comments below because to me, these are just practical things, so I, that's why I don't consider myself to be a germaphobe. But if these are things that are new to you or you didn't think of before or that you do yourself and this is just like common sense, let me know in the comments and um, stick around for more videos. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.